keeps your data. It's no secret, of course, but you have no idea what information the messenger has about you. Today I'm gonna tell you about how to find what kind of data Pavel Durov's messenger has on you, how to figure out if you've been blocked, and what you need to know about the polls in Telegram. Welcome to the Teleblog channel! Every Telegram user can now download their personal data, which is stored in the Messenger. And thanks to this feature, you can find out what the Messenger knows about you and decide what info you shouldn't keep there and simply be aware of it. It became available after the adoption of the General Data Protection Regulation, paced by the EU. To do this, you need to first install the latest version of Desktop Telegram. You can download it from the official website. Then log into the Messenger, go to Settings, Click Advanced and then Export Telegram Data. The next step is to choose what data you want to export. Messenger allows you to download account info, contact list, personal chats, private group chats and much more. You can see the complete list now. Choose which information you want to download. Then press Export and wait for the archive to download. The speed of downloading depends on the number of chats and files you've sent to other users. After downloading the archive, click Show My Data and open the archive. In the archive, you can find name, surname, telephone number, profile pictures, the one you're using and the previous ones, phone contacts, including those without a profile and telegram, the list of contacts with which you chat the most, and a lot of other things. In personal chats, you can see correspondence with another user, while in group chats, you can only see your messages. Channels are simply mentioned in the list without being able to read them. As you can see, there is a lot of information, and I think it's important to know it and to store it so it can't be used against you. You never know what might happen. Next, what you can't find in the archive. First, secret chats. There is no even a sign they were created. Deleted messages, call history. This information is available in the Telegram app, but there is no mention of this in the report. And blocked users. Again, you get a list of them in the Telegram app, but it's not available in the report. You may ask me, what's the use of exporting data? Well, if you need some information, which can be media files or important emails, for example, because you've decided to delete your account and get a new one, but you don't want to lose the data, so you will need this feature for sure. Next, we'll talk about the ban in the Messenger. And I want to remind you that if you want to stay up to date on the latest developments in the technology world and, of course, know everything about Telegram, subscribe right now if you haven't done it yet. Join our community. You can also find if you've been blocked by someone in Telegram, and there are several interesting signs of this. So, what do you want to pay attention to? First of all, the profile picture of a user you've been texting with recently. If there was one before, but then it just disappeared, that's one of the signs you were blocked. Instead of a picture, you'll see the capital letters of the username. If you gave a person the name and surname you wanted, the first letters will be displayed accordingly. But that's not it. Many users don't have profile pictures, so you will see capital letters too, even if you're not blocked. And here is another indicator. It's the last seen status. So in the end, it's the combination of these two things. The absence of the profile picture and last seen a long time ago, maybe that this user has blocked you. You can send a message to them, of course, but it will only be delivered to the Telegram server, while the user won't even see or read it. There's also another way to find out if you were blocked. If you have another phone number and therefore a second Telegram profile, just add this person to your contact list and check their status and profile picture. If you see recently or a certain time, as well as a profile picture, be sure you were blocked. You can also do the same on any other phone with Telegram. Enter their phone number in the messenger and check the user's profile. This way, you can almost accurately know if you've been blocked. In the meantime, give this video a thumbs up if this information is new to you, and even if it's not, hit the like button please, because it will get me motivated and inspired to make new content for you. Next, we're talking about the polls. You might think, well, creating a poll is super simple, and you're right, it's easy. But there are a lot more possibilities there. Next, I'm gonna tell you how you can use the polls to the fullest. 
But first, let's figure out how to create a poll. For starters, I would like to point out that you can do it in both channels and groups. And of course, it's unavailable in private chats. To create a poll, press the pen while in the dialog mode from channels or chats. Select poll, set the name and options for the survey. You can choose up to 10. Then you scroll down and find some fascinating additional tinctures. You can make it anonymous or vice versa so that all the users see or not see who voted and how. The second one is an option where you can vote for several options if you enable this. I will point out that when the survey is published, users don't know that they have to choose several options. So you will have to clarify that either in the description or after the post. Among other things, Telegram has quiz-style polls, a special kind of poll that has one correct answer. In this way, you can make your communication in a group or channel more fascinating. Telegram argues that it's a super convenient tool for educational tests. You can also add an explanation to the right answer when in the quiz mode. When a user chooses the right option, Telegram will congratulate them with fireworks. If it's an incorrect one, alas, nothing happens. I'll point out that you can always revote in the poll. To do this, long press the message on iOS and select Retract Vote. If you're the one who created the poll, you can stop at any time. To do this, you just go to the same menu I've just mentioned. I'll point out that even if you're not a group creator, you can create and stop the polls anytime. So why are polls cool? Well, first, if you're a group or channel admin, it's an opportunity to make communication and content more fun. Secondly, polls are a convenient tool even when chatting with friends and lovers. If you have a group, you can create a poll and ask what the people are planning to do at the weekend or on Christmas. There are plenty of options. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comments what kind of questions about Telegram you're interested in. I'm going to talk about them in my next videos. And that's all I have. Thanks for watching. It's the Telebloke channel. Subscribe and be trendy. Thank you.